Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to lock an element to its parent with absolute positioning. Okay, so we want to make this sidebar. Um, the next option for CSS position property is absolute, which locks the element in place relative to its parent container. Unlike relative position, this removes the element from the normal flow of the document. So surrounding items ignore it. That means like the items that surround the, uh, the, the item that you give the position of absolute, it, it ignores it. Uh, the CSS offset properties, top or bottom, left or right, are used to adjust the position. One nuance with absolute position, positioning is that it will be locked relative to its closest positioned ancestor. Uh, if you forget to add a position rule to the parent item, uh, this is typically a position of relative, then uh, the browser will keep looking up the chain and ultimately default to the body tag. So uh, you need to, yeah, um, you want to put um, absolute elements uh, within uh, relative elements because that's what they're going to uh, be related to. This will make more sense once you start building uh, larger websites. It's actually kind of hard to tell with this small example here. Um, so what we want to do is lock the search bar element to its top right, uh, to the top right of its section. Now the section is just sort of an invisible tag here and then the, this is the form bar and then h1 is ab above that. If we were to right click here and inspect the uh, the form we'd see the forms here and then the section is the whole area that surrounds the form and so we want to lock the uh, search form to this uh, this area in here and so we're going to declare the uh, so here's the search bar this is the CSS for the search bar the style elements and then the search bar is a ID selector because it's got the pound sign and the pound connects with the ID which is this search bar um, and then it yeah, so what we're going to do first is we're going to set the position to be absolute. And then we're going to go, we want to give it top and right offsets of 50 pixels. Great, and if we run the test, that should pass. Um, it's a little bit hard to explain this uh, positioning. Uh, maybe I go to a website like Palantir, and then if you you'll notice that this nav bar here, if you scroll down, it stays here. And then this is an example of an absolute um, set because this is going to be stuck to the top of the page no matter what. Um, so it'll make more sense once you get it further on. But for now, this is a really powerful term that you'll want to understand. But if you don't completely understand this, I wouldn't slow down and just keep moving because things like this will become more um, apparent as you build more complex websites that actually need something like that. The thing about this example is that there's no reason to make this absolute. So uh, hope you guys enjoy this. Let me know if this helped. If you like the videos to be faster or slower, if there's anything that you want me to make a video about, please let me know and give it a like if you thought it was useful. Thanks a lot.